Hello everybody and welcome to Wexco Manor Farm. This is a brand new map for Farming Simulator 17 and it's by Kevin Berry. I want to thank Kevin Berry an awful lot for sending this to me early because we're going to be able to do a pre-release Let's Play, which is something I'm really looking forward to. So today is just going to be a map tour, but that is still very important because I need to know what the map looks like and you'll be very interested to see as well. So let us begin. Okay, so this is where we are. We don't need to know the game basics. The farmhouse is just here. And here is our pickup. So we're going to have a bit of a drive about, but also we're going to take a look at what machinery we start off with. I think first of all, I'll turn left. Because I think most of the map is actually here. Yeah, because this is the farm. And the fields are all spread out sparsely. And looking at the minimap there, there is a lot of different interesting sized and shaped fields. So uh, looking forward to seeing everything here. Anyway, let's head up here. Uh, we've got some maize growing on the right hand side. Plenty of trees, driving through a ton of trees. Uh, paddock, pylons, everything really. It's a very nice feeling that you get from this. Anyway, this is a little village. 30 miles per hour is the maximum speed limit. Got an old conveyor belt tipped over. Some houses. Now for the national speed limit. Oh, that's always good. We get to floor it. But first of all, let's just go th through here. I shouldn't jump the gates. We can actually open them. We'll open the gates and go through here. Potato boxes stacked up. So this looks like just like a, a storage yard. Down here could be good for bales. Um, as there is some ventilation. Or maybe a tractor store. These barns, let's have a look inside. There is a trigger. So it opens. Oh, climb in the door. Let's just go through here. Uh, so yeah, perfect for maybe tip anyway. You can tip anything wherever you want now. You don't have to have a, a designated area. Tip anything, tip anywhere. Brilliant idea. Uh, so these could be grain stores. It could be anything you want, really. Again, it could be bales. I think the idea is just to let you decide. Do whatever you want. Uh, so that's a nice little yard. It might go around the corner. Possibly. Um, let's just open the minimap. Yeah, I think it does do. Uh, but probably from the other side. Unless we get our drone out, we could do a bit of flying. But first, I think we should continue our journey on the road. Uh, unless, let's just see. This is what's so good about this. When you've never played on the map before, you can discover all of these different secret areas. Yes, there is another shed here. So that backs onto the other one. And this one is straight up into uh, another field with pylons in the middle. So I'm sure you can appreciate the shape of these fields. Definitely interesting, not just totally square. I've got a nice curve going around here, which just makes it feel a lot more realistic for the UK. Possibly not for every um, country, but yeah, the UK, most of the fields are a different, unique shape. Anyway, let's get back into the pickup. And we shall continue the tour, which may take a little while, as there's a lot of detail here. We should probably shut the gate, otherwise we could have anyone turning up. There we go. Okay, so heading up here, let's just open the minimap once again. Looks like there is another small yard on the right hand side. Or is it left hand? No, it is the right hand side. It's somewhere up here. Right, so got some double gates. There seems to be a lot of conveyor belts on their side. Maybe there was a strong gale or something. We've got a bulldozer, some pallets, some more bales. Um, yes, on the map it is showing. It's like the silage icon. Not 100% sure on that yet. Um, but yeah, this map isn't released. So there could be some changes. Anyway, this is a very big field just here. Field number 12. Looks massive. This is soybeans. So I think, yeah, really to appreciate this map, we should go for a bit of a flight. Uh, so let's just take off. Got to pretend we're a drone now, otherwise it would be very unrealistic if we were just randomly hovering or taking off into the midair as a person. Uh, don't want to show you the boundaries of the map too much, but that's that field. Huge. From down below, you wouldn't be able to see the boundaries anyway. 
just give you a really good view of everything. Full of detail. And down here, I think is a dead end, uh, but possibly access to other fields. Yeah, it could be another access to field 12. Maybe. But we won't go that far. We're going to spin around and see the rest of this farm. We need to see the main yard. If I can turn it around. There we go. Finally. Yeah, this is going to be a very interesting map to Let's Play. And the uh, very interesting thing is, uh, we start off with quite a lot of expensive equipment, so it's not like we're going to have to cheat or anything. We can use everything we've got and still be very successful. And we start off with £20,000 as well if you're playing on normal difficulty. More houses here. And just down here, I believe there is another shop. A bit of sell point for the grain. Here it is. So here we have got, well, the shop itself, the machinery, Morgan's massive motors. Over here we have got the sheep. This would be the sell point for the sheep, and also for the cows as well. So they're sort of uh, incorporated together. And this looks like the grain sell point for everything else which you need to sell. So this is the central hub for selling everything you need all in one place. Uh, field number 9 is very close here, field number 8 as well. I think what we're going to do is head back up to the main road. Not that there is a main road, it's just like lovely country lanes. And then we'll be able to take a look at the other fields and also the yard itself. On this map we have got cows, pigs and sheep. This is the junction where we're going to turn right. As this heads down to everywhere else, as you can see here. So we should have a very interesting field on the left hand side here. Field number 6. Um, yeah, it doesn't look that peculiar from here. But if you take a look at the minimap you can see it's almost like an L shape. And it goes around the yard. don't know how well you can see that. But yeah, that would be a very interesting field to harvest. Especially as sugar beet. Um, yeah, because with sugar beet it's quite nice to be... Well, I suppose the square of the field, the better, but um, yes, it's definitely going to add some interest to that. Love these unique fields. I do go on about them quite a bit, it's just, I have a thing about perfectly square fields, I just don't like them, somehow. They're brilliant for workers, but other stuff, not so much. Anyway, let's turn left here. Uh, we can't see the fields too well, because there's a lot of foliage, a lot of trees and hedges and everything. But they've all got their own individual gates which you can open. Drive down here. I've got a bit of off-roading to do to get to this field. As you can see. Uh, so we've got some stone walls, lots of houses which overlook the field. So they'll be able to see you drive past with your harvester. And then, continuing on up here, I believe it is just more fields, because the main yard is the other way. However, what's this? Ah, it's another secret yard. I hadn't even noticed that before. I would have totally overlooked that if I'd just looked at the minimap. Let's take a look. So it's a bit bumpy. Looks like there is an old bale trailer here. Is that the bale trailer off FS09? It looks very similar. Not sure if it is. And the cultivator too. Some very old pieces of equipment. Some machinery store. With some sunflowers growing which are ready to harvest. So many different secret areas. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be great. Uh, just don't know when we're going to do the Let's Play. I think what I'm going to have to do is just, yeah, have uh, two videos in one day. So it could be Goldcrest Valley, for example, and this map. We'll have to see. But yeah, no doubt about it, we're definitely let's playing it. Oh, it's a bit bumpy. Whoa, my backbone. And if you can see at the speed, there are other fields as well. Right, let's spin around 
and we shall take a look at the main yard. This is the part I'm really looking forward to because we, we I'm looking forward to the layout actually. By the way, I haven't seen this map before. Um, all I know is that we already own some big equipment because I looked at the uh, info page. But other than that, this is totally new to me. Never looked at it before. So it should be, I think, I think it's right somewhere up here. Yes. Turn right at the end of here. And then we should get to the main yard. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the layout. That's what I was going to say. How it's all been laid out. Are the animals all together? Or are they sort of dotted about? Looking at the minimap, they are dotted about, but it's hard to say. Right, so we're going pretty fast down here. This is where we came from, as you can see. And in here is the yard. Right, so it's quite an, a tight yard. First impressions. Although, it does open up. It's also a very big yard. Uh, it shouldn't be too long until we see the first tractor. Amazingly, I don't think we've seen anything yet. But it must be about anything in here. Nope. Although a very good grain store. Or something along those lines. Here we've got the uh, where well you can tip in here if you want to. Instead of tipping it into the shed. And again, another grain store just here. Now... This is the cow shed, where you give them the feed and everything. This is their trough. Another grain store, or just basically a storage shed. Ah, now we start off with the bucket, the pallet forks, and the bell spike for the telehandler. Do we have a telehandler then? I'm guessing we do. Um, but we have quite a decent sized trailer, the agro liner. We have, oh wow, <laughs> oh, we've got the Massey Ferguson 5613 with the Amazon sprayer and a horse cultivator just here. Not a very big one. The, uh, what is this? The Terrano 4FX. Uh, so that should be, well, for the smaller fields I'd have thought. Over here we've got a big tractor, the T5 100. I suppose that isn't that big actually, but it looks quite big physically. Now we must have a new Holland harvester, I'm guessing, as this is yellow. We will have to see. We then have the Vardestad Cedar, just here, direct drill. And the new Holland tractor, the 8340, a plough, 4 I think. Yep, 4 furrow. Oh, I keep climbing stuff, I'm very clever. We then have the Agco weight and the 1455 case. I knew we'd see this tractor again. It just can't go without featuring in nearly every map. Ah, so here is our harvester. It's actually a Massey Ferguson, very good choice, Kevin. Um, it is indeed a very nice harvester. Although we might have to change the header trailer because it's yellow and this is red. Uh, but it's only a, a small technicality that. It doesn't really matter. Right, so let's go through here. I keep turning off the, <laughs> I keep turning off the HUD because uh, I had to uh, put the uh, no flight mode on, or the flight mode for the drone. Uh, so I'll have to turn it off later. Anyway, this is the Case Puma 240 CVX. Nice tractor with a, a Fleagle bow trailer. Not so keen on this trailer, but it would do. We can always replace it later on. Uh, at least we have one. Very good to, to use transport fertilizer and stuff. Uh, oh, look at this. Nice open grassland area. Which could be for the cows. Or it could be for the sheep. I think it's for the sheep, actually. Yeah. Down there. We'll have to head down there in a second. Uh, we'll take a tractor. Um, so, oh yeah. Also, manure just here. And liquid fertilizer together. Mmm. Hot chocolate. Okay, so moving on, let's head down to the bottom of the yard. I don't know if there's an awful lot left to see. Uh, we have a skip, skip just there, with another old broken cultivator, some bales and more storage sheds. Ah, down here is the pigs. I thought I could smell them. Yep, more storage, same with that side. Here they are. And that actually looks really good, the way this has been laid out including the slurry and the manure just here. So we don't have any, I don't think. I'll just check. I doubt we'll start off with any. No. Nothing yet, but we will soon have some. Um, oh, look at that view. That is such a good view. All the different barns 
stepping uphill. Uh, maybe it's just me, but that just looks quite good. Very picturesque. Looks like there's an area up here too. We've got a diesel tank there, more bales stacked up, an old conveyor with all of its webbing removed. Wow! We've got the money too. Thought it might have a telehandler, that's good. The square baler, first time I've properly seen it in FS17, and tucked behind there is the round baler as well. So basically, we start off with nearly everything we need here. Except for the animals, of course. This, to me, feels like, although there's a lot of fields, it feels like it should be more a livestock farm. But maybe that's just me. Anyway, what we need to do is jump into a tractor and we'll head down to the sheep. I think it's the sheep. Right, off we go. To open this gate. Now, which way does it open? Hopefully, away from us. Good. That wouldn't have been good if we'd crashed the gate into our brand new tractor. So, the sheep have got a lot of land here. Or do they have this area at the end? Possibly. This could be their section. Yep, here we go. Their area is just here, but still, plenty of land. Wow. They're very lucky. So, uh, obviously we can't see the animals until we buy them, uh, which shouldn't be too long. I'm hoping to do the Let's Play very soon. I'll quickly head back to the yard, and we should probably check the minimap. I think there is one more thing to see, and that is field 16 and 17. I'm hoping I've covered everything. If I've missed something, then I'll... Obviously, uh, look at it in the first episode of the Let's Play. But, yeah, pretty sure that is it all. That could be the cow field on there. Right. So, two fields left to see. Yes, that is the cow field. I'm staying out of cab just because it would be much easier to see the map in closer detail. If I'm in the cab view, you don't see an awful lot. So just here, somewhere, there we go, in there, I think that's field 16 and 17, should be up here. I think it is. <laughs> Let's just see. Yes, it's a grass field tucked behind those trees and it is actually a huge grass field. So that concludes our map tour, hopefully you've enjoyed it and yeah we'll definitely be doing a let's play very very soon so stay tuned for that. As for a release date I'm not 100% sure but I am told that it is going to be coming out so we're just going to have to wait and see. I've just discovered something else, there is another thing here. Have I been here before? I don't think I have. Nope I haven't. That's an interesting yard. Again though, more storage for all the tractors and also so you can put your grain in here too. An old skip. More conveyors. They must have had like a job lot of conveyors. Cultivator and a bell trailer and potato boxes. So I'm pretty sure that does conclude it. Thank you very much for watching and also a big thank you to Kevin for sending me the map and obviously allowing me to do a let's play on it. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.